The pilot of a small chopper that landed on the Capitol building's lawn could be in court today. Good morning, I'm Miranda Khan. This story tops your Newsmax Now update. The chopper made it all the way through Washington, D.C.'s secure airspace. Piloted by Florida mailman Doug Hughes, he says he wanted to deliver letters demanding campaign finance reform to Congress. You could just see him with his helmet on quite calmly just piloting the thing into the lawn. There was no noise coming from him. He wasn't screaming. He wasn't shouting. Questions are being raised now about how Hughes was able to make it through, again, what is supposed to be some of the most secure airspace on the planet. The issue of gay marriage coming up for presidential hopeful Marco Rubio. Although he says he believes that marriage should be between a man and a woman, Rubio also says he would go to a gay wedding. Yeah, but somebody in my life that I love and care for, of course I would. I mean, that's, I'm not going to hurt them simply because I have a, a disagree with the choice they've made or I disagree with the decision they've made. Rubio says it's like going to a person's second wedding, even though as a Catholic, he doesn't believe in divorce. A bill that would have required kids be vaccinated in California has stalled in the state Senate. It would remove the ability for parents to keep their kids from being vaccinated for personal beliefs, but lawmakers say it would, in effect, create a second class of children since they would be barred from school if they're not vaccinated. Texas has executed a convicted cop killer. Manuel Garza died after being given a lethal injection last night. 14 years ago, the San Antonio man killed a SWAT team member with the officer's own gun. And convicted killer Aaron Hernandez faces more trouble. The former Patriot star sentenced to life without parole for the 2013 murder of Odin Lloyd still faces two more counts of murder. He's accused of killing two men during a drive-by in Boston three years ago. And you never know what you might find when you go for a walk on a California beach. We were actually coming down for a beach walk. We come down here quite a bit, and lo and behold, there's a shopper right on the beach. <laughs> There you have it. A big one, too. Take a look. A Marine Corps super stallion chopper had to make an emergency landing on a Southern California beach during a training mission. Apparently, the oil light came on. After four hours of repairs, it was able to fly home. And congratulations to a Houston couple, now the parents of quintuplets. All five of the babies delivered via C-section last week are girls. The hospital says Daniel and Adam Busby's little girls are the first all-female set of quintuplets on record in the United States. Congratulations. That was your latest Newsmax Now update.